Hi guys, I almost didn't do this video because I was being lazy and one of the things that I promised myself that I will not do this year is procrastinate. So I got off my bed and I decided to do this video. So I need to detangle my hair because I'm going to probably wash it tomorrow. So I'm just going to detangle it right now. I just actually took my braids out two days ago. I took my braids out on Friday and it's Sunday now. And I was just needed to detangle it before I conditioned it tomorrow. So I was like, why not go ahead and do it? So this is my hair twist up day number two and needs to be detangled. It's not too badly matted, but it needs some it needs some TLC. <laughs> So I'm about to go ahead and get started. All right, guys. Show you guys the front and everything 
Um, just like I, I just don't feel like I showed you exactly how to tangle the back, so I'm just gonna go just talk to you guys as I do the front, the last part of my hair. Um, I did have some shedding, but I guess not too much. Uh, I, I don't know what is considered too much and what's considered not too much. But I did have definitely have some shedding, and I've been going through a lot of um, dryness of my hair, so I need to do a deep conditioner. I, that, that usually helps. So um, the importance of this video is basically to show all my natural sisters, like you guys, um, like myself, I should say, <laughs> like you guys, like myself, um, just a way to care for our hair. I feel like sometimes um, the natural sisters can be a little tough on their hair, and I understand it. I was one, you know, I was one that was kind of rough on my hair because I was so limited to time, timing. Um, so I would just try to get it done really quick and be done with it. And my hair is actually paying the price for that, for my um, my roughness, I should say. Um, so I'm just, you know, letting your sisters know who are going through this or who are newly natural. If you really want to go through this process, it's going to take a lot of time. A lot of timing is involved in caring for natural hair and maintaining healthy natural hair. So if you want that, you gotta get the time. You have to take the time. Um, some days it take it can take me an hour and a half to two hours. Oh, um, actually more than that. Sometimes four or five hours. If it, if it's if I have to shampoo and do all that stuff to my hair, which I know it's, I figured out a technique to kind of shorten that time when I have my wash days, um, and I'll show you guys that in another video. But um, that probably will work best for me, considering I have two young kids, two toddlers that require a lot of time. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because they're both taking a nap, so I have the time to do this. Um, but even when they're not taking a nap, my husband would usually watch them while I do this. And because again, you have to take your time. You gotta give your hair that tender, loving care. Like seriously, TLC. If you don't give your hair that TLC, it's not going to, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So if you are newly natural and you're watching this video, just know that you have to have a lot of patience and a lot of time. That is the truth. So I'm just detangling. Small portions is the best way to do this. When you finger, finger detangling is just to use small, small sections at a time. That way you are sure to get every single piece, every single strand detangled. Um, and that way you wouldn't have too much shedding um, or any hair loss when you do it this way. Um, I still did, and that's again because I'm going through some like a dry, dryness right now because I live in Florida and the humidity here is just ridiculous and my hair is paying the price for that so I just gotta take the time and just do this detangling method and um, then I'm gonna just do a deep condition to get the moisture back in my hair so yeah so um, if you guys are newly natural comment below comment below let me know and if you have any um, questions, concerns, <laughs> let me know. I'll be sure to um, answer any questions you guys have. Or if you've been a natural for some time and you're still just trying to figure your hair out, let me know. Um, I'm kind of like in that boat right now, but I feel like I've figured my hair out. Um, and it looks like I'm pulling it, but I'm, I'm really not I'm being as gentle as possible with my hair. So, um... Yeah, so, you know, I'm on this hair journey, like I mentioned in my previous videos, and I went through a stressful period in my life, um, mid-ending of 2018 and half of 2019, and my hair definitely was affected by that stress, and now I'm just on that journey to trying to get back my hair healthy. Um, I'll show you, I'll actually link the video below where I mentioned, or I inserted some pictures of what my hair looked like before compared to now. And um, yeah, that way you guys can see it, how my hair is. And you know, I just want my hair to get back there, where it was before all this stress happened. 
and um, I know it will. I know it will. I have faith it will because every time I do my hair, I pray and I say, God, please give me back my thickness and my length. And God is looking in this, behind the scenes on my hair right now. <laughs> I know He is because I pray about it all the time. And all he, he tells me is, take care of your hair and I'll give you give it you back your length and your thickness. So, you know, I'm not asking to have waist length hair and all that stuff. I just want healthy hair, just healthy hair. Because no matter if it's waist long or, you know, my length or shorter, um, the most important thing is that it's healthy. That is the most important thing is that it's healthy. And I actually just got this comb because I felt like my other white tooth comb was still kind of pulling out my hair a little too much. And this is my old white, white tooth comb. And this is my new. As you can see, the teeth is actually a lot bigger in my new one, the black one. A lot more space in between. So I'll be actually using this one to um, detangle and take care of my hair better with that one. And the other one that I showed you, the older one, the, the bluish color one or grayish color one, I used that one on my, my kids' hair. Um, yeah, so all I can tell you sis out there is, is that take the time on your hair, take the time on your hair. And what makes matters even worse is my hair was going through such a traumatic experience um, last year. And on top of that all, which is the stupidest thing I've ever have ever done, is I went ahead and dyed it. Now I haven't dyed my hair in over a, over like maybe maybe about 15. No, it's actually more than that. I haven't probably dyed my hair, and that includes any permanent dye or temporary dye, I have not done any of that to my hair, even when my hair was relaxed, when I was using relaxers on my hair. I have not, because I've been natural for now about five and a half years, I have not dyed my hair um, probably a little over like maybe 20 years. It had been a long time since I dyed my hair. Um, I don't know what possessed me to dye my hair, but I did it, and now my hair is paying for that even more. So not only the stress my hair went through, I went ahead on top of that, and I'm gonna dye it, dye it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Because I have a couple of grays here, you can see it, that I didn't wanna show anymore, so I was like, let's go ahead and dye it. And I didn't even, sis, I didn't even professionally go and get it dyed. I did it myself. Wrong, wrong decision. If you guys want to color your hair, that's fine. Just get it done professionally. Because those people know what they need to do. They know, oops, I should not put that first. I should put my oil first. They know what to do. They know how to treat your hair, especially if you go to a stylist that caters specifically for natural hair. Um, and you want to color your hair, don't do it yourself. Get it professionally done. And if you don't have the funds to professionally get it done, then don't do it. Um, I've seen some videos where they had like the chalk dye and all that. I am not even interested. I am not even interested. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to color my hair. I just want my hair to be released from this color dye that I have in here. And just to get my healthiness back. My length, the length that I had it was about shoulder length. Everywhere I went, people would always comment on my hair. And it wasn't just within my community. It was, it was Hispanics, it was the white community, everyone, no matter who it was, it was, it always commented on how beautiful my hair was. And I have to actually say, actually I'm gonna insert some pictures. I'm gonna show you guys, I mean, my hair was just so healthy. Now, granted, I believe strongly that a lot of that length and that thickness and that healthiness was due to my pregnancy hormones, because <laughs> I had two kids back to back, like literally they're 16 months apart. 
So, and that was planned by my husband and I. And I think it's the back-to-back -back pregnancy and the hormones in those pregnancies that really flourish and make my hair look so beautiful and so healthy. I really believe that. So now that I'm not planning on getting pregnant anymore and having any more kids, I want to see how my hair is going to grow without those hormones um, involved. Um, so yeah, let's see, you know, and that's why I'm doing, I created this channel is that so I can start this journey on my natural hair and hopefully, you know, God willing, I will see some great results and hopefully you guys following my journey with me will also see some great results. Let's do this together. You know, let's do this together. Let's do this together and um, just create a nice natural hair journey together. Um, other than that, there's nothing else um, going on. I'm just gonna finish the tangle on my hair and then I will do a deep conditioner. I'll do a deep conditioner so you guys will see that too. So other than that, I hope you guys watch the, watch, enjoy watching my video on detangling natural 4B, 4C hair. Oh, this feels so good. And also, sis, you guys, when you're doing your hair, massage, massage, massage. It feels good. It makes your hair happy. It makes you happy because it feels good to you as well. And it also stimulates blood flow. So definitely, always, always, always massage it here. Massage it when you're detangling it like I am. Massage it when you're washing it. The, the, you know, if you're just doing like a braid out or a twist out, always, always, always massage, massage, massage. Your hair will be thanking you for it. So, that's all I got for you guys. So you see how basically I did it? I just did it in small sections and I'm just gonna braid it. Now I don't braid it all the way to the end. I just kind of like twist it. That's why it kind of looks funky over here. You see here? I don't braid it all the way to the end because I'm braiding it. It's like, oh, it takes a lot of time. So I just braid it to almost all the way down and then I'll just twist it at the end. Just twirl it with my finger at the end, as you see here. So when I unbraid this, it's just to kind of quickly untwist it in the end and unbraid the rest. So that's all I have. I have this one little section here and I'll show you guys the finished product and in the back how it looks. And then we want to do the conditioner in the next video. Bye guys. So guys, I am finished. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. I got up off my lazy butt and get this done because God knows when I would have a chance to do it again during the week. But I'm glad I got this part done. And so this is the front, you see here. And that's just my detangling method before I show you. is how much hair actually I lost for the entire detangling method this much I used to maybe for like this section in the back here let me show you in the front at least when I would do this section I used to lose this much hair or maybe not to exaggerate maybe these two sections as together is this is how much hair I would have lost last year just doing these two sections now this is how much I lost for my entire hair so I'm pretty, pretty happy right now. Um, that tells me that my hair is loving what I'm doing. And because my hair is happy, I am happy. So what I'm gonna do is just pin these braids back, kind of like pin them back. And tomorrow, I'll do my wash day. So yeah, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy watching. And I will see you next time.